Hello, welcome. My name is Dr. Damla Nurkawa. Today, um, I will present Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. We will start with a case, then I will talk uh, briefly about Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. We will talk about epidemiology, clinical features, how to diagnose and how to treat or manage the disease. Our case is a 65-year-old white male patient presented with a five-year history of progressive distal asymmetric leg muscle wasting, weakness, painful muscle cramps, and imbalance. He had no sensory complaints, no visual disturbance, urinary or fecal incontinence, memory problems, or history of head trauma. His medical history included diabetes, type two, diabetes mellitus type 2, and he had uh, Meniere disease secondary to German measles. There were no family history of uh, neurological disease or chronic disease. His neurological examination include left foot pescavus, left calf atrophy, toe and foot dorsiflexion weakness, left foot, foot aversion weakness, mild bilateral postural tremor with, without clonus, fasciculation, or increased tone. <clears throat> His uh, deep tendon reflexes were diffusely hypoactive. He had ataxic gait, and his Romberg test wa was negative. His uh, lab tests were normal, aside from elevated hemoglobin A1C levels, um, complete blood counts, ESR, CRP, ANA, HIV, anti-CCP levels, uh, TSH, all tested, and they were all normal. On neurophysiological studies, there were diffuse uniform demyelinating polyneuropathy, and his MRI showed diffuse nerve root enlargement. Genetic testing or was ordered for this patient. And it was found that he has heterozygous duplication of exons one through five of the peripheral myelin protein 22 PMP22 gene, confirming the diagnosis of Charcot-Marie Tooth disease type 1A. He received ankle foot orthotic that's to improve his gait, and no further treatment was required over a two-year follow-up. CMT is the most common inherited. Uh, neuromuscular disease um, is the umbrella term for uh, for um, different types of inherited um, neuromuscular disorders. Uh, there are over 80 causative genes and more than 600 mutations um, responsible for CMT, but we still don't know many genes playing role in the pathogenesis uh, in the disease. It is broadly classified based on the mode of inheritance and neurophysiological studies. We will talk about neurophysiological studies later in the presentation. Uh, type 1 CMT, also known as the myelinating type, type 2 axonal, the Jaren Sodas disease is a form of CMT, severe infantile onset. Uh, type 4 is autosomal recessive CMT. And uh, X-linked inheritance TMT1X. But as I said, this is a very broad categorization. Sorry, there is so many uh, subtypes of CMT and many genes playing in the role of the pathogenesis. Generally, um, phenotype is similar, but there are distinct features within the subtypes. Um, let's talk about history and epidemiology, how um, common this disease is. In February 1886, Jean-Martin Charcot and Pierre Marie, his students from France, published a case, case, case series of five patients with progressive muscular atrophy. Later that year, actually three months later, Howard Henry from United Kingdom described the same condition with localizing the lesion in peripheral nerves. Tooth was the first to attribute symptoms correctly to neuropathy rather than myelopathy, as the other physicians previously done. In 1968, CMT was subdivided into two types, so, uh, CMT1 and CMT2, 
on the basis of pathology and physiological criteria. Prevalence is one in 2050 people with global distribution and no ethnic predisposition. CMT1A uh, associated with duplication in DNA sequence of myelin protein 22 gene and is the most common form, it accounts for 60 to 70 percent of the patients. Mutations in gap junction beta-1 gene is responsible for X-linked CMT and second most common form with approximately 10 to 20% of the cases. 1B is CMT type 1B is associated with mutations with mainly protein zero gene and accounts for less than 5% and CMT type 2 are about 20% of the cases. Um, so in, in the picture, you can see Jean-Martin Charcot and Pierre-Marie uh, on the B and uh, Howard Henry Tooth on the C. Um, let's talk about clinical features. CMT neuropathies are very really slowly progressive because of that patients usually can't give precise information about the onset of the symptoms. The majority of patients have had the symptoms since uh, first or second decade of the life. Main findings on examination include distal weakness, sensory loss, and absence of deep tendon reflexes. Lower limbs are affected more than the upper limbs and foot drop is permanent. So uh, on picture A, you can see um, inverted uh, champagne bottle sign because of the uh, distal muscles are more affected than the proximal muscles. The differential involvement of intrinsic foot extensors and the long extensor muscles over a period of years lead, leads to the development of foot deformities like pescavus and hammer toes. And on the picture B, you can see um, atrophy of intrinsic hand muscles. On picture C, you can see hammer toes with pescavus. Pain can be present, but not always, and believed to be related with the involvement of delta A fibers. Uh, scoliosis and kyphoscoliosis occur in one third of patients, and if there is a skeletal abnormality with neuropathy, it's very suggestive of inherited neuropathy of the empty type. Specific phenotypic features may exist as we talked before in particular type of CMT, but phenotypic features are mainly similar and overlap within subtypes. So uh, how do we diagnose um, Charcot-Marie Tooth disease? The first step for diagnosis is to determine whether the, whether the patient has genetic neuropathy. Is it acquired or um, genetic? It's especially crucial to take a detailed family history for inherited neuropathies. There are some clinical clues to uh, think about, think about uh, inherited neuropathies. They generally start um, insidiously and have a more chronic course. Distal segments are more affected than the proximal segments in contrast to acquired neuropathies. Um, there is uh, generally a family history, but there is also sporadic cases too, like our case. Um, there is usually musculoskeletal deformities such as pescavus or kyphoscoliosis, and in contrast to acquired demilanding neuropathy, they usually do not have any kind of musculoskeletal deformities. On the basis of neuroconduction studies and neuropathology, CMT is subdivided into two main groups. Um, one, the myelinating form, CMT1, uh, if autosomal dominant, and CMT type 4, if autosomal recessive, and is characterized by slow neuroconduction velocities, less than 38 meters per second in upper limb motor nerves, and prominent myelin abnormalities such as on the bulb formations at nerve biopsy. And there is also an axonal form, CMT2, with preserved or only mildly slowed nerve conduction velocities, more than 38, or 38 meters per second, and pathological evidence of chronic axonal degeneration and regeneration. 
uh, the main diagnostic problems occur in patients with intermediate uh, neurophysiological tests. Such velocities should alert clinicians to the possibility of other types of CMT, such as X-linked CMT. There is also some uh, clinical clues to differentiate the myelinating and axonal form. The myelinating type usually starts uh, on the first decade of life, and axonal type usually starts on the second decade of life. Uh, foot and spinal deformities are more pr prominent in the myelinating type. Uh, in the, the myelinating type, there is a reflexia, but in axonal type, generally the uh, deep tendon reflexes are um, hypoactive. Um, Tremors and are more prominent in the myelinating type, and there is thickening of nerves in contrast to axonal type. But uh, at the end of the day, genetic testing is the uh, most precise and gold standard for the diagnosis of inherited neuropathies. There are many genes associated with CMT. But in North America, mutations in only four genes, um, PMP22 duplication deletion is in our patients. Um, gap junction beta 1 gene, myelin protein 0 gene, and mitofuzin 2 gene account for over 90% of the CMT cases. Since molecular tests have been available, Nerve biopsies become unnecessary in most cases, although this test can be useful in selected cases, such as sporadic cases for differential diagnosis. It could be also uh, helpful for our case or in familial cases when the main genetic investigations are negative and nerve biopsy might give relevant information. So how do we treat Charcot-Marie tooth disease? Unfortunately, there is still no effective drug therapy for CMT. A dedicated multidisciplinary rehabilitation team can significantly contribute to the management of patients with CMT and improve uh, functionality and quality of life. Supportive treatment options include orthotics like this to improve balance and ambulation physical therapy to uh, maintain muscle strength and tone. Uh, there are options to tendon lengthening and tendon um, transfers. And as a last resort, resort foot, uh, sur foot surgery can be um, suggested for foot deformities to increase mobility and quality of life. Other than that, there are some experimental um, treatments, uh, ex experiments to uh, future treatments, actually. Th these are not used on uh, human uh, subjects, but they have been shown to be effective in animal models. So I will mention them briefly. Uh, high doses of ascorbic acid was shown to decrease PMP22 levels. Mm -hmm. Um, and symptoms in mice with CMT1A. Progesterone antagonists have been shown to decrease PMP22 expression in rat models, improving the phenotype. Histone D acetylase 6 inhibitors have been shown to correct axonal transport defects in mouse models. Um, also, some Research suggests that combination of baclofen, naltrexone, and sorbitol um, is safe and delays neuropathy progression <clears throat> in mild to moderate CMT1A. Neurotropin 3 uh, is a potential gene therapy candidate. A nerve growth um, factor in Neurotrophin 3 contributes to neuron growth and survival in animal models. These are my references. Uh, if you have any questions, I can take them.